this is the first lecture of this week of Bayesian analysis. I have shared here a theorem of multivariate normal distribution where both mean vector and precision metric are unknown. Listen the statement of this theorem. Suppose that x1, x2, x3 up to xn is a random sample from a multivariate normal distribution with an unknown mean vector theta and unknown precision metric r. Suppose also that the prior joint distribution of theta and r is as follow. The conditional distribution of theta given that r is a multivariate normal distribution with mean vector mu. and precision metric C gamma such that C is greater than 0 and the marginal distribution is a Wishart distribution with alpha degree of freedom and precision metric is star where ta is a symmetric, mat symmetric positive definite metric. Then the posterior joint distribution of theta and R given the, given, uh, for the given sample is as follow. The conditional posterior distribution of theta given R is a multivariate normal distribution with mean vector mu star and precision metric C plus N gamma where mu star is equal to c mu plus n x plus c uh, c plus n divided by c plus n and the marginal distribution r is a Wishart distribution with alpha plus n degree of freedom and the precision metric tau star where tau star is equal to tau plus s plus cn plus c plus n into mu plus x bar plus mu plus x bar transpose. Where s is equal to sum of xi minus x bar into xi minus x bar transpose. Basically here students Wishart distribution is a multivariate version of chi square distribution. When we have product of many chi-square random variables and run, uh, chi-square random variables, we have a Wishart distribution. See the derivation of this theorem, the likelihood function of x1, x2, x3 up to xn is equal to L x1, x2, x3 up to xn with parameter theta r is proportional to gamma raised to power n plus n divided by 2 e raised to power minus 1 by 2 sum of xi minus theta transpose gamma into xi minus theta. And it may be written as gamma raised to the gamma mod, uh, mod raised to the power n divided by 2 e raised to power minus 1 by 2 n into theta minus x bar transpose gamma into theta minus x bar plus transpose of s gamma where s is equal to sum of xi minus x bar into xi minus x bar transpose. Please down the slide and see that the prior joint distribution of theta and r is p theta uh, p theta gamma is proportional to gamma raised to power 1 by 2 e raised to power minus c divided by 2 into theta minus mu transpose gamma into theta minus mu into gamma raised to power alpha minus k minus 1 divided by 2 into e raised to power minus 1 by 2 transpose of ta gamma. Now the joint posterior distribution of theta and r for the given sample is proportional to gamma raised to power 1 minus 1 by 2 e raised to power minus 1 by 2 
into C into theta minus mu transpose gamma into theta minus mu plus n into theta minus x transpose gamma into theta minus x bar multiplied by gamma raised to power alpha plus n minus k minus 1 divided by 2 e raised to power minus 1 by 2 trace of trace of gamma uh, uh, tau ta gamma plus trace of s gamma and let c is equal to c into theta minus mu transpose gamma theta minus mu plus n into theta minus x bar transpose gamma into theta minus x bar may be written as c plus n into theta minus mu star transpose plus gamma into theta minus mu star plus c n divided by c plus n into mu minus x bar transpose gamma into mu minus x bar where mu star is equal to c mu plus n x bar plus c plus n uh, i think here is a correction that c mu uh, mu star is equal to c into mu plus n x bar divided by c plus n make a correction here now come on where we were that is mu star is equal to c plus mu plus n into x bar plus c plus n and I think it is uh, equal to no after after replacing the values okay this term this term has become c plus n theta minus mu star transpose gamma into theta minus mu star plus tra, uh, trace trace of trace of c n divided by c plus n mu minus x bar plus mu plus x bar transpose into r now the joint posterior distribution of theta and r for given sample is equal to p theta gamma for given sample x1 x2 x3 up to xn is proportional to gamma raised to power minus 1 by 2 e raised to power minus 1 by 2 into c plus n into theta minus mu star transpose gamma into theta minus mu star into gamma raised to power alpha plus n minus k minus 1 divided by 2 e raised to power minus 1 by 2 into trace of trace of tau star gamma where tau star is equal to tau plus s plus cn divided by c plus n into mu minus x bar into mu minus x bar one of them is transpose i think uh, second term is a transpose x minus uh, mu minus x bar here is transpose okay now above equation is proportional to now okay, it may be right as this term may be right as the the first term is the probability of theta for uh, theta given gamma uh, for given sample x1 x2 x3 into pr for given sample x1 x2 x3 which is the density kernel of density kernel of conditional posterior multivariate normal distribution of theta given r with mean vector mu star and precision vector matrix c plus n gamma and the marginal uh, and the marginal vishard distribution with alpha plus n degree of freedom 
and Prison Metric Tie Star, where Tie Star is is equal to Ta plus S into uh, plus C N divided by C N plus N into mu minus x bar into mu minus x bar transpose. 